This video shows what it might look like to download PuTTY on your own computer. So to begin with, you should go to the website listed in the lab manual, and then you want to click on either the 32-bit or the 64-bit download for PuTTY. If you're not sure which one you should choose for your computer, they have a Frequently Asked Questions, a FAQ, section right up here that'll help you decide. And then you click the correct link to begin the download. Then you'll be given the option to save the file, and you should do so. And then here's where things may look a little different depending on which web browser you're using. So the next thing you'd want to do after the file was downloaded is you'd want to run it. So in Firefox, that would look like this. I'd click my Downloads arrow, right-click to open the containing folder for PuTTY, and then I would run that file. On your web browser, the procedure may be different. On most operating systems, you'll be asked first whether you want to run a file that's executable, so you should do so. Then, when the setup wizard starts, you would click Next to begin the installation. The default location is usually fine, so you can click Next again. And then you can click Install to finish the process. Notice, however, that I do not have it set up to add a shortcut to PuTTY on my desktop. You may want to do that. The installation then proceeds. And finally, you can click Finish to finish the installation. You can also choose to view the README file if you wish to. And now that you've installed PuTTY, you can open it up and configure it for your use. I'll cover how to configure PuTTY in a separate video.